Howdy folks, welcome to episode 49. We're going to do a little bit of uh, editing here and wow, I, I, I apologize in advance for my <laughs> rat's nest of a hair apparently. Um, yeah, I decided I'm going to start growing it out a little and it's like, because I think, I think it was right before I started my channel maybe when I cut it all off because I was doing, I, I do a lot of running and stuff like that and it's just, it dries faster. So, I, you know. It's just totally a lazy thing, but I figured I'd try growing it back out this winter a little and see what happens, you know, grow it out long enough to, to do stuff with it. But <laughs> in the meantime, it's in that horrible in-between phase. Anyway, so what I wanted to do was um, I've got the, I've got this fixed. Oh, and by the way, the reason this was displaying the wrong numbers <laughs> was, you know, uh, slope is rise over run. And I was only calculating rise, and I wasn't divided by run. I calculated run, but I didn't divide by it in my <laughs> thing. So I think this, I don't remember which segment it is. I don't remember which segment it is that um, that does this. So I'm going to have to go in and look maybe. But as, as you, well, you probably can't see because I've got these fonts like microscopic so that they'll all fit. But basically the, the numbers are here, 12,560. Now I could make it so that you can edit these numbers. It's easy to make it so that you can change the numbers in this program. The problem is right now it doesn't write any of the track data back. It doesn't calculate any of the track data in order to write it back into the save. It just regurgitates whatever was in there to begin with. It reads it in, parses it, but then change, rewriting it, reformatting it to fit back into the save with the new data is kind of a pain. So um, yeah, I haven't done that yet. <laughs> so I'm kind of avoiding doing that. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to figure out which of these two segments it is. All right? See, our, our grade is 0.1. Let me get out of this and we'll see if we can find that other segment. It's that one, that one right there. So yeah, what we can do is we can probably change the endpoints in the handles and we'll see what I can do with that. Cause I kind of wanted to try doing that instead of just like deleting these two segments of track. And then it might be these two segments too. So that's what I want to go find out. But yeah, I didn't want to have to delete and rebuild you know, so we're going to try to do it in the hex editor. Anyway, this is this is the opening of episode 40. <laughs> really exciting stuff. So we're going to do that, and then we're going to drive our train. So uh, I will be right back, because I'm going to check where these segments are. All right, we're back in the game, and let's go like this. We're going to see, see the first joint is here. This should be obvious, because this is the stone. And then there should be another segment up here. It would be really nice if it was... Oh, it is right there. It's right in the middle. Okay. So I just need to change both ends is what I need to do. And we need to, should we bring them up by, let's bring them up by like 50 centimeters. That should, that should be plenty to clear this. I would probably only need like 20, but yeah, let's do 50 centimeters. I don't know what that is in metric. <laughs> and I need to move these trains off of this just because we don't want to be on that segment still. So we do need to move a little bit back in order to get out of there. So let's double check and see if our brakes, yeah, see our brakes are on this one. I'm not sure if we have brakes on the other trains. We're gonna find out here. Looks like it's moving, so there's that. <laughs> So I'm tempted to try, um, I'm really tempted to try, and I'll probably do it offline, but I want to try doing the, um, here, let's take off the regulator and see if it stops on its own. But yeah, I want to try, yeah, see, it is, there's, somebody has their brakes on, which is fine. It's okay. Shouldn't be a big deal. But what I want to, I want to try um, doing this without the, uh, extended mod turned on 
because I want to see if that affects the frame rate. And I, I remember when it when I first started using it, I had the perception that it was doing so. Again, perception is often very unrelated to reality, so it's not. It's, it I perceive something has very little likelihood of it actually being true. Anyway, <laughs> it's coin toss. So it's 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 not a good reason to, to think something's true. It's a good reason to test something to see if it is. All right. So anyway, yeah, there's we're off the end of the segment. So what we want to do is we want to take all of these points up here, all four of those, and move them up by 50 units. So that should be easy enough, I think, to find in the in the save. And then that's going to leave our, yeah, because that should leave room for this. And we could possibly even move these up a little bit, move these up by like 20 centimeters. I think that's what we can do is we can move those up by 20 and then move those up by 50. So I'm gonna go back into the other thingy and I will be right back. All right, here we are. So we've got, the it's these two segments right here. Cause remember this one is the wall, right? And so what we wanna do is we wanna move this handle and this one. And let me see if that is, let's, we are on edit splines, right? Yep, we are on edit splines. So I think it is one, two, three. So yeah, it's the end. It's the end on these ones. And then I wanna do this. I think it's the other way, yeah. Okay, and then four, three. Okay, so it's one and two on these and then four and three on the other ones. Okay, and then I need to um, write down these numbers and then find them in the hex file. So I'm gonna write these down and then I'll show you in the hex editor real quick what I'm doing. It's not gonna take too long. It's gonna take like 20 seconds and then we'll go play. So <laughs> I'll be right back. All right, here we are. So if you look at this right here, the number that we're looking for is the start of segment um, that it has the elevation of 12,624. Point fifty eight is what it showed in in uh, mine, and so here's the actual number. So there's the location of that. What we want to do is we want to go to twelve six forty four, and so we want to go from fifty forty two forty five forty six to fifty two ninety two. So if we go here, fifty two ninety two. So we go fifty two. 92. Now when we go back here, our number is 12644. So that's what I'm going to do for each of these handles. I'm going to add those up and then we'll check it out in the game and I will be back in a second. Okay, we're back and this should be moved up by 20 centimeters and the other one should be moved up by 50 centimeters. I didn't even need to move the handles because the handles are relative to the end points, the start and end points. See, we're moved up how it was below the rocks now it's 50 centimeters higher is it it doesn't seem like it's too up and downy that's a word right <laughs> no it doesn't seem like there's too much of a vertical problem here so I think we should be okay as far as that goes let's just see how this works we didn't like screw something up huge here right because <laughs> there should be a gap there where it's obvious yeah okay no, it doesn't look like it's it's doing anything horrible. So we'll give it a try. Um, I need to load up the, yeah, I need to load up that. It's interesting that it brought that up because railroads online extended. Oh, it is, okay. It is running, it just wasn't attached. Okay, let's try that again. There we go. All right, so we should be over here. Here we go. All right, because I wanted to bring up, whoops, I wanted to bring up these. This is the thing, is we need to be able to control all three engines. So we're gonna do, this is gonna be the front one. We're gonna use the lead one as our main. We're gonna keep that down here. And then um, the other two, we're gonna open the controls and like squish them down just so that, like this, so that we can just see the brakes and stuff. All right, and then this one, open controls. 
I'm going to go like this just so that we can control them and then we'll get this out of the way here and let's see you know what let's before we do this too let's go refill all of our fire oh you know what else I need to do I need to do open uh, cheats and there just in case we fall out of the engine and I need to run it after it and catch it because <laughs> Because that, that that sort of thing happens a little too often. <laughs> All right, there we go, and let's get this one filled. There we go. All right, whoops, we'll grab another one, and then we can fill up this one, and then we should be able to just run them. There we go. All right, cool. So if we jump into this one, there we go. All right, so we should be able to run everything now and we're gonna take the brakes off. Let's go like this and let's take off the brakes. See, it's interesting. One of these engines is capable of, um, of pulling more than, whoops. We're going backwards. One of these engines is capable of pulling more than the in, then two the brakes of two of them can stop. That's how bad the brakes are on this. We're gonna go forward, forward, forward. We're gonna give this some juice and then let off the brakes. There we go. We can let off that brake. We're gonna give this some juice. I think that's the third one. I think these two need to be um, reversed if I remember correctly. We go like this. So turn this one up here and turn this one back down. All right, let's see how we go over this, over this mess. Cause obviously if that fails right away, then we're gonna have to just reload or fix the track or whatever, but it should be okay. Now there may be a little bit, there's gonna be an uphill to here and then a little downhill from there. So we may have a little, see there might be a little bit more of a bump than I want it to be, but we'll see what happens. Worst case is we can leave this coming straight and make it just a big wide thing coming out. And that should work a little bit better. We're gonna take the regulator down. You see, this is where our issue might be if it happens at all. If anything's gonna happen, or this, this end looks a little sharp, doesn't it? Is it just me? <laughs> Does the very, the curve at this very end of this look a little bit sharp or no? No, it's not too bad. Okay. Are they bouncing around? Yeah, they're bouncing around just a little bit. All right, that's okay. And then I think we're gonna be going downhill for some of this. So we do need to keep an eye on this. All right, we're gonna turn off the extra. We're gonna let this one do the walking, <laughs> right? Let this one do the pushing. And we're going to try to keep our speed at, I don't know, 13, 14. Let's try to do that. Let's try to keep it at 13, 14, something like that. Go. All right, it looks like with some brakes. Yeah, we're gonna go full brakes on this and see what happens here. <laughs> That's disappearing. That's great. Okay, and then we're gonna put a little brakes here because yeah, it is still speeding up. There we go, it's starting to slow down here. We'll use the second one to regulate. 15.1.
we do need to do this just so that we can see that everything is still there. We don't have like carts tumbling off and all that stuff, right? Okay. Because this is where it's going to... I want to be able to see what's coming up too, you know, if we got sharp corners coming up and that stuff, but it's, it's tough. It's like, which way do you look, right? All right, it's starting to... There we go. It's starting to drop down. Let's drop this down to 50 and see what happens here. 13.8. Okay, looks like we got a decent speed going. Should be able to maintain a decent a decent rate of climb and all that stuff. Let me see. I wanted to do this. I think we're speeding up again. Uh, yeah, it seems like we're speeding up. Yep. Okay. There we go. 14.5. Whoa. Let's let's slow this down a little bit. See, if I hit too much brakes, then it's... If I gave it too much brake, then it's going to push them off the corner, you know? Because they're trying to push against that, and the other ones are trying to push back. <laughs> so, they're going to do that thing. <laughs> uh, right? All right. That's the trick. you got to balance those two things out. Okay, this is where we were. We popped off last time, and I believe we fixed it. So, let's see. We're down to 10. See, we might be climbing up a hill again. 10.2, okay. We're picking up some speed. The coal cars are going past that. I believe that's where we flew off last time because it was really close to the terrain and it actually was colliding. 10.9, okay. We can start adding a little bit if it's if it starts to creep up too much again. Yeah, I've got the display on there, but I can't tell where we are on the... T it's, I can't tell where we are on our map. Because I've got my grade display over off to the side. But who knows where we actually are now. Because there's a crossing. There's a crossing. I think it's there. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> We're going 12.3. We're still doing okay. Go like this. Where are we? Is that is that where we just crossed? No. 13.2. I gotta keep an eye on okay, here we are. Alright, it's where it goes up that way. Okay. No, it looks like it's fairly level. That this segment that we're on is fairly steep. Yeah, it is fairly steep. Okay. So we're going to put our brakes back on. There we go. Bring this down a little bit. Yeah, it'd be really nice if you could... If you could see the grades on here, because you can see where you're going. But we won't need that once we actually have signs. <laughs> That's really a needed, one of the more needed functionalities, you know? And I mean, you can do stuff like, I could put in, like, towers and encode them, you know? But it would be, like, if you point the tower at the, you point the, the spout of the tower up the hill or something like that, and then you put some number of things that, you know, the shed houses or whatever that, that indicate, uh, here, we're, we're almost stopping again. You know, you put something that indicates how steep the slope is. Okay, that's the other section where we derailed. So you do want to keep an eye out here. We do have plants coming up through the thing. Let's see. We're going 10.4. We're doing okay on that. Because this drops down and then it's flat for a little bit. And I think it's okay when it's pushing down this way. It's, I think it was when we were pulling, we were pulling too hard up that little segment. 
and I think it pulled up the cars off up off the track is what happened. We're doing okay on that. Let's turn around this way and see where we're looking. Oh yeah, we've got nice smooth nice smooth stuff ahead of us. Okay. So let's go like this and let's get some regulator going here. And we can bring, I think, where do we need to bring our coal to? It's the, the, all the way the other end. Yeah. <laughs> it's a long way, isn't it? Okay. <laughs> it's all the way around the whole map. There we go. That's what this needs is this thing, this interface, maybe this interface could have like a level on it, right? You have a little bubble, see the bubble? <laughs> right? Okay, it looks like we are either on level ground or slightly uphill because when we let off completely, it doesn't gain speed. So we'll keep this moving. 12.3. Looks like we're going back uphill again. See what our map looks like here. Here's our. Is that our cars? Yeah. Okay. So we're coming up to this. Okay. Yeah, I think this part is uphill. Go like this so you can see it a little bit better. I think this part is uphill. So we'll just keep this chugging along up to here. And then we got to make sure that our switches are the right way. That one is. Wow, that's a heck of a corner, isn't it? It's a really sharp corner. Let's see where we are. There we go. And we're going to bring up a little bit more power. We don't even need the triple, do we? We didn't need really the need the triple to get up here. It's just another car to derail and add lag, right? Yeah, this segment is uphill for sure. Okay, I'm gonna move this map back over here. I'm not really looking at it. Whoa, oh, it's gonna do this stupid thing again. I really hope it doesn't do that to me. <laughs> it's, there's always gotta be something, right? All right, 13.4, I think we can turn this one back off. Point six. I'll bring this down a little bit. Because I'm pretty sure there's another hill up here. At the very end of this, we come up that big hill. Apparently, it's when the wheels hit that little grass. Alright, let's drop this a little bit. We're going to go like this. Here we are. Uh, we got a little bit way, a little ways to go before we get to the, the top of the hill. Okay. At least got to come around this corner. Let me drop this a little bit. Fourteen seems to be a good speed. And we're starting to either level out or see what happens if we drop it completely. 14.4. I think we're going to hit a hill. Yeah, this is a hill again. I think we're coming down a little bit of a hill. 
14, 2. Okay, we'll coast as much as we need to. That's fine. 14.3, let's see what we've got here. Whoa, we've got this. Don't do this to me, come on. There, let's see a little bit. Oh man, we're speeding up. Nope, we're not, okay. It felt like we were speeding up. <laughs> it felt like we were going way faster than that, okay. Nope, I think we're on pretty much level ground then. And we're slowing down a little bit. Yep. Let's see if we can keep this at an even, nice even 13 or so. See, it's going to chug up this hill now. So we've got that bridge. We're doing okay. Looks like we got a good steady pace here. Yeah, the thing is, if you were actually in the engine driving it, you'd, you'd be able to feel that you're going too fast or not. You gain a sense of that. But, I mean, there's no vestibular feedback in this game, so... <laughs> You don't get the same sort of, you know, especially with the low frame rate, you don't get as much of the sense of how fast everything's going by and stuff. The fluid sense of it, especially. Let's see, we're going to go like this. We'll come around with our slideshow. Alright, and our switch is the right way. Okay. We've got our switch and our crossover. Yeah, this is where this is that last push where it's up a hill. It seems like we only need one engine to make it up almost all the vast majority of this. One engine is plenty, even with these all loaded down and stuff, right? All right, thirteen is plenty. go over the switch. It's going to lose a little bit of speed. That's a, that's okay. Cuz we get a little bit of a corner coming up here too. And then I think that bridge goes downhill. Once we get over this thing, we're going to be going downhill too. So we do need to um watch what we're doing here and probably start applying brakes in a little bit. It seems like the three engines have enough brakes to handle everything. There we go. Here's our crossover. And yeah, this is about the crest of the hill is, is right where this little thing ends and the bridge starts. So, go like this. I don't think we've brought a train across at that yet to make sure that it's not underneath the, ter the terrain. Also, all right, 12.1. We're going to start dropping our start dropping our speed here. There we go. Or our, our uh, yeah, I suppose we can push a little bit more until the engines start to get get a little bit of a little bit of speed going, right? I just don't want to get burning down the hill so much with so much speed that it's like, no, now we can't stop, right? Because <laughs> you know how that goes. Okay, so the train should be on level ground for the most part, and then the front should be starting to hit this hill. So we should start gaining speed pretty soon here, fairly soon. 9.4. Yep, see, now we're starting to gain speed. 
Okay. Cool. I love the scenery out here. I'd love to be able to run an external camera. There's, it's just a little too frantic trying to do that all at the same time. And I think everything should be just ready to go all the way back. But we're going to have to double check and make sure. 10.7. We're going to have to start hitting some brakes here in a second. I suppose we can get up to like 12 or 13. There we go. See if that'll even out. 13.2. Yeah, it looks like that's going to be about as much as we need. Maybe. Give it a little bit more. There we go. That seems like a nice even amount. Thirteen point four. We're coming up on the let's see what we've got here. Coming up on the switch. Cause then we're gonna have to hit some we're gonna have to hit the the gas given the beans or whatever it is. That reference. We're going to have to do some pop culture reference in order to get up the hill, right? <laughs> but yeah, once this the engine's past the switch, I think we're going to probably take the brakes off and we'll take the brakes off of this one. There we go. And then we should be able to, that should be able to pull it down most of the way. See, so now we're even. Half of it's going up the hill and half of it's going down the hill, right? There we go. And then we'll have to make sure that our switches are set up to bring us the right way. We're going to add a little bit more here. <laughs> I like the sound of that. That's pretty funny. Alright, and then we can even do all three of them, right? <laughs> that sounds hilarious. I love it. All right, we don't need that anymore. We don't need that anymore. Bring the second one back up again. Because apparently we're on the steepest part. There we go. And once it starts picking back up. See, so, so the triple header is useful a little bit. The three musketeers. <laughs> uh, where's going to be our Snickers train? <sighs> wah, wah. Okay. I'm really glad the end of that, the wooden thing on the end of that doesn't interfere. They don't have collision on that. Because that would suck. Alright, I think we can turn off that one and let it go. And then we're going to see, double check and make sure our switches are where we want them to be. So we have this switch here, these switches here, and we want to go this way. And then we want to go around the siding. And then we're going to do that. And then we're going to go yep, around the siding. 
Okay, you can take it easy a little there. Sounds like it's found a hill or something. Okay, and then I think that's everything. That's all the switches. That's about all the switches they use. Okay. <laughs> that's about all the shrimps there is. Okay, we got everything going. Not sure why I'm zooming all this out. It's not like you can see it, right? Okay, 11. We bring our speed back up again. Now this track here, we should be able to go 13, 14 along all this stuff, so. I was really hoping to be able to do 22. I mean, you can, it's just you gotta, then you gotta stop, you spend half the episode just putting tra cars back on the thing. It takes you a half hour to get there, it's whether you spend a half hour driving or a half hour re-railing, you know. <laughs> it's, it's which proportion of your time do you want to spend driving versus re-railing. Now that would be a cool feature if you had uh, if you had the ability to just re-stick the train back together, right? You have it save this configuration and then if something happens it just takes whatever, it just attaches whatever's there to the the front. It starts with whatever was supposed to be at the front and it realigns everything back behind it onto the tracks. Wouldn't that be kind of cool? We can just pick up a little bit of speed here. We didn't even end up, end up with any disappearing... Like the cars disappear and then the coal is still there but only the top because they don't bother to render the sides because there's normally the side of the train there. So then you just have the the one-sided. I always love those. Those one-sided things. Must be a little bit of a hill here, huh? I like this when it does this little bit of bouncing around on the track. Okay, we should be going that way. Yeah, good. That's the one that takes us off to the the ironworks. Cool. And this is pretty level ground, so I think we should be able to just jump out here. Let's see. Oops. I don't want to accidentally click the switch. Cheats. Enable flying. It's too bad I can't move that out of the way, right? Where's the enable flying? There it is. Okay. Why are we losing speed? I thought that was pretty level over here. I guess not, huh? Get some speed going here. There. <laughs> See, it should be able to maintain that once you have it. It's just getting to that speed. It's even speeding up a little bit. Cool. Fifteen point five. I wanted to go do the flying thing, but I'm not sure that I want to leave this unattended like this. 16.3. There we go. Try that. 
Is that going to keep it? I just need to find a decent thing here because it's fairly flat here. So there we go. Okay. So now we should be able to close this. This should keep a fairly level speed. And we're going to go like... this. There we go. We can just go eyeball what's going on and stuff. Oh wow, we're all we're already almost through that. That goes a lot quicker when you're not going like seven. <laughs> right? It's chugging along. Cool. Okay, we're gonna back off so we can see the whole train. I don't think we need to see the front. There we go. And I think it should keep me along with it. There we go. I just want to keep an eye on our speed and stuff. <laughs> it's total disconnect. 14. It's slowing down a little, so let's give it a little more speed. Everything should be out of the way up here, and everything should be switched correctly. We did check that, so we'll have to make sure once we get up here, obviously. We have to make sure it goes the right way through the intersection. Let's see what happens if we go up to 100%. There we go. Bring it down to 80. 74. I know these switches seem to be a little bit more likely to do bad things, so we'll let it. Yeah, bring it down a little bit more. And then we should be level all the way to the smelter, except the very last, the very very last uh, little segment. It should be good to to bring this through. Yep, we're steady at 15.7. We're going to turn this way. And we should go down the center. Should be going down the middle track. I hope. And, yep, looks like it. Cool. I did the switches right. <laughs> All right, cool. And like I said, all we've got after that is just the, the final um, thingy. So this final little segment. So we're going to do this, and we're going to run up here. Can I still get into this one? There we go. Alright, we're going to turn off the regulator on this. We don't need it anymore. We should be able to coast. Yep, I think we are good. And that is going to be it for episode 49. Join me in episode 50. We're on 50 already. Join me in episode 50. We're going to... Um, I think we might try to make a mountain pass like we did last time, but we're going to try a different path or something. So yeah, we'll try to make a mountain pass that goes up over this. There's a low point right there that if you watch the last series or anybody else do that, um, there's a low point that you can use that... Um, But yeah, there's a, there's a low point up there that you can a pass. That's what they call it. <laughs> Same thing. But yeah, you can you can build. And we went around these south mountains to go up it. I, what I want to try to do is we've got our nice and smooth and easy um, lower level one. I want to make a really steep one. I want to see how steep we can make it and still get up there. 
So I think that because I think that would be fun. So I think what we could do is we could probably come off of here and go up the mountains that are in the middle of the map. If you look at if you look at the map here, this is the pass right here, and we could connect to this. But I think what we could do is come up this way and go up the side of this mountain, climb up, climb up the side of that mountain to get up to the pass. I think that would be fun. We might even do something where we just come up to here and then do like a back and forth. Do like some switchbacks. I mean, that bit might be kind of interesting too. But I just want to do some creative, you know, creative ways to, to get through there. But anyway, yeah, that's going to be it for episode 49. Join me in episode 50 and we will see you then. Later.